What is up, YouTube family? How in the heck are you guys today? I'm tired and I'm cold. It's so cold out. What's the temperature? 40 degrees, but it feels like 20 because the wind is blowing. So yeah, it's cold. Um, but it's 11, 17 a.m. And I got myself all ready for the day, ready for work. And I need to go to the post office, mail out one more goodie box. And I do have goodie boxes still available. I think I need to email two people and let them know that they are able to get a goodie box. But I still have a few more that I can sell. So if any of you guys are interested, email is down in the description box below. Shoot me an email. And let me know what goodie box you would like. $45 regular, $45 aromatherapy, $20, or $60 box. Okay? Okay. Um... So, I didn't have any luck last night. Well, I mean, I did, but I didn't have any luck really anywhere else other than the home good type dumpster. So, my plan right now is I'm going to go to the go to town and I am just going to check the candle dumpster because I have better luck during the day. And if I wait until after I get off work, there's probably going to be like four other people that are stopping there. So, because I can't get there as soon as um, the store closes because, sorry, I'm trying to fix my hair, because I work. So, let's go check the candle dumpster. Um, I don't know if I'm going to check anywhere else. A, because it's super cold <laughs> and my hair is still soaking wet. Um, and B, I'm waiting on the um, dealership to call me back because they haven't yet. Um, and I wanted to stay at home until they called because my husband said to wake him up when they call if they're trying to charge me. Um, and I couldn't wait any longer because I got to get to the post office before I have to pick the kids up today and I want to check the candle dumpster. So hopefully they don't call. I mean... If they do, I'll just say, I'll call you back and have my husband call back. But, yeah, I'm hoping they're not going to charge me. All right, I'm going to stop blabbering now. So, we're going to get to the candle dumpster and I will see you guys there. Hopefully. Huh. Hopefully there's stuff. But the only way to find out is go there, right? So, let's go. Okay. So, I just went all over the go-to town and nothing in any dumpster boo so here's what we're gonna do we are gonna go check the b.l and the dollar type store so we'll go check that and see if there's any goodies um and then i'll probably come back tomorrow night as well because i'm just gonna check that candle dumpster two times a day that's my goal um but tonight, when I get off work, I'll check the other candle dumpster in the other town, since I'm not far from it when I go to work. And then I will hit up that Renews It's dollar type store dumpster. So that's the plan. I'll bring you back when we get to the B.L and the dollar type store. All right, let's see if we got anything good up here today. So many boxes, is that a rug? Is that an area rug, guys? What is that? an area rug. Oh, there's a bunch of rugs. Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my
goodness! I just got all those area rugs. Three area, I think it's three, maybe four. Oh my God, look, there's a manager right there getting a buggy. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's the manager I was dealing with about my cushions. He's not gonna recognize me though. Empty. <laughs> I just got all those rugs. Oh my goodness, brand new rugs. I love that. They always throw out area rugs. I have not paid for an area rug in my home in over a year. Yeah, awesome. So I'm glad I didn't find anything else because I wouldn't have been able to fit anything out. This car is so much smaller than mine. So I'm not used to not having as much room. Oh my goodness. But I got it, guys. I got it. It might be hitting me in the back of the head right now. But it's okay because I got it in. That's all that matters. All right. So what I'm going to do, you're not going to see any of my other dives from today because I didn't have any luck. So, oh, and I remembered my gloves. So, what I'll do is I'll combine this video with tonight's video. So, when I get off of work, I'll go to that other town, check the candle dumpster, and um, I'll check a few other ones out there. And then when I'm on my way back home, we'll check um, the Renews It's Dollar Type Store dumpster. And we'll see if we find anything in any of those. So that's what we'll do. So I will see you guys super late tonight whenever I get off of work. And we'll go and check some more dumpsters in this freezing cold weather. Ugh, I hate winter. So hopefully we'll have some luck tonight and tomorrow. But I will bring you back whenever I get off work. What is up YouTube, baby? I just got out of work and I got my butt kicked tonight. Oh my goodness. I had two tables of 10 at the same exact time. That was tons of fun. And also all my other tables filled up and I have 15 tables. So yeah, that was tons of fun. Anyway, it's now 12 o'clock in the morning and we're gonna go check that other candle dumpster and see if there's anything in it. So, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go check some dumpsters. So, come along with me, friends. Okay, we are approaching the candle dumpster. has a little bit of soap and I got some lids oh yeah this place is on a destroying kick that's for sure okay let's go see if there's any goodies for me bones are cold. Put on my seat warmer. I didn't get much, but it's something. 
What is up, YouTube family? How in the heck are you guys today? I'm tired. I don't know if you can tell, but there is some really bad bags under those eyes. <laughs> Thank God for the glare. Anyway, it is 1045 on Thursday morning. I remembered the day. And I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm on my way there. Um, I did not get home until after 1 a.m. last night since I didn't go diving until after I got off work. And of course, I was busy all freaking night. Two tables of 10 at the same exact time, plus 12 other tables at once. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. But I'll get through it. Um, I didn't have the best luck last night. But I, you know, I think I just need to stop going to that other town. I, I gotta give it a break because they're going ham on destroying everything. So I'm gonna stop going out there. It's pointless for me to do it and to waste my gas to get one thing of soap. <laughs> oh, and I went to open it to see how much soap was in and I couldn't get the lid off. And I'm like, what the hell? Do you know what they did? They took the bottom part that goes into the liquid, the little um, plastic piece, and bent it up so that you couldn't get the soap out. Like, you really took the time to do that? <laughs> Why would you just dump the damn thing out? So, I have extra lids, of course. There's only, like, that much soap in there, but I have more of, I think it was sunshine and lemons, and I have more of that at home. So, I'll just add it in with the one I already have, but... Yeah, I thought that was comical. I was like, really? They took the time to do that? That's hilarious. But, whatevs. So, I am going to just stop going to that one for a while. I'll give it a rest. Um, and the other dumpsters out there just never give me anything. Ever. So, I'm just not going there. Um, so, anywho, today I'm on my way to the doctor's. But I figure since I'm out here, let's check them. So that's the plan. So come along with me, friends, and let's go see what's in these dumpsters today. We are going to the store that rhymes with Molly's out in a different town. Let's see if we find any goodies today. But I got a heater and I got some uh, essential oil things, which is awesome. Okay, let's go check some more. So that'll wrap it up for today. I might go diving in the go-to town today, but I might wait until tonight. I don't know what I want to do. I want to check the candle dumpster. <laughs> I have a problem. Like, I'm not giving up on that dumpster. And like, I feel like, I, you know, I have FOMO, fear of missing out on a good dumpster score. <laughs> so, I don't know. All right. Um, I didn't get a ton, so maybe I'll do the reveal in the same video. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I got to figure that all out. But 
I'll figure that out when I get home and I'll talk to you guys later. And as always, happy diving. What is up YouTube family? Welcome to the reveal part of the video. So, because I haven't been having like super great luck, I've been doing my reveal at the end of the videos because that way it's like natural. <laughs> God, here I go already. That way it's actually like 25 minutes long, which is around what I like my videos to be for you guys. And after I edited out all the diving, it was only like 15 minutes. So we're gonna do the reveal right now. So I went to a lot of dumpsters in the past two days, <laughs> but I didn't have that much luck. I did have luck at the B.L, which you guys seen, which was the very first part of the video. And I got three area rugs. I'm gonna save those for last because they're super cute and I gotta keep you in the video. You know what I mean? So watch all the boring stuff first and stick it out and you'll get to see the cool stuff at the end. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, so I went to the other town that has a candle dumpster last night after I got off of work. And I showed you guys, like I held up a little plastic bag it had like 20 foaming hand soaps bottles not soap they emptied out all the soap out of the bottles ridiculous right i know so thankfully i scoured through everything and i found this bottle of sunshine and lemons foaming hand soap with about i don't know maybe up to there but I have two of this scent already, so I'll just add this into another bottle. But I wanted to show you what they did. They took the time to do this. That's what kills me. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just, instead of doing that and getting soap all over your hands, just empty it out? I don't know, they're, they're ridiculous there. But I found, two, three other lids. So I got a blue one and two black ones. I'll add these to my collection because a lot of the times when I find these, the um, pumps are actually broken, like the plastic part on the top. So there we go. Anywho, um, there was nothing else in that town. It was horrible everywhere else in that town. There was nothing. So then I went to the um, dollar type store close to my work and I got, it's actually in my car, but I got some men's crew socks. It's supposed to be a six pack. Let's see how many are in here. Yeah, it's six pack still. So I got all three pairs of the men's socks. So I'll wash those and give those to my hubby. I thought I heard a kid crying. I don't know. Um, I also got a little, what's wrong? Okay, you can come down. Okay, crisis averted now. So, in my car, which I'm not going out to because it's cold and I don't want to go out there. Okay, okay. I got a tiny little, um, it's like a fall or, hi Kai Kai, I got the whole crew coming down. It's like a fall or a Thanksgiving, um, tiny little plant holder with fake plants in it and it's all fall colors. It's super cute. Um, but it's tiny. It's not very big at all. I got that and I got the socks. That's it. Then I went to the Renews It's Dollar Type Store dumpster and this is what I got. First thing I pulled out was this, which I wish I could have found the lid, but it was not in there. So that sucks. But I, the girls have a million tiny little toys, LOLs, little Barbie, you know, shoes and stuff like that. So I figure this would be perfect Yay. to hold their stuff. Yay. 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 So I will just give these to them. That way I don't have to worry about all those little parts being all over my floor and stepping on them like I have been doing. <laughs> because that stuff hurts. All right. Um, I also got two boxes of Kleenex. The boxes are just a little jacked up, but they are perfectly good and sealed inside there we will use them then i got um some suave professionals dry shampoo 
So it's completely full. Not sure why that was in the dumpster, but I will use this. Absolutely. And then the last thing I got from that dumpster was a candle. Glass everywhere. I'm just going to give you this. <laughs> so it's a Glade candle. It's in the scent of Berry Pop, and it's a limited edition. It is strawberry, dewberry, and lime zest. So it's just a little candle. There's nothing major to it, but it does smell amazing. So I will use that. And then the last two things I actually got from that dumpster that I just remembered about were two bottles of ginger ale, which I've already opened this one earlier and taste tested it and it's perfectly fine. So, oh no, I didn't open this one. It must've been the other one. Well, I have both of them now, so, oh well. Oh, I forgot about these things. Uh -huh. Okay, well, today I went to, um, let's backtrack because I lost my train of thought because I'm busy yelling at them too. Today I went to um, the dumpster that rhymes with Molly's and it's out in another town, not the go-to town that I normally go to. It's not that one, it's in a different town. And I actually had to get in. The reason why I got in is I seen a rug scrubber. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm getting that. Well, the top part of it, like the hand, I'm always not finding the handles to things. Why? I searched that whole dumpster, could not find the handle. So it's not gonna do me any good. I left it in there. But this is what I did find. I found a Vivitar Simply Relaxing Oil Diffuser slash humidifier. And this bad boy is still in the plastic. Oh, so that is adorable. I don't have a diffuser, so I will actually give this a whirl, see if it works. And I also got another one. This is another Vivitar, and this is a Aroma Essential Oil Diffuser slash humidifier. And this one does light up, and it also has the mist button on the back, right there. Okay, so I'll give these a whirl, see if they work. And if they do, I'll keep them. If they don't, they're trash. But I've always wanted a diffuser. I've never tried any essential oils. I know they're a lot better for you than wax, essentially. Um, you guys know, I'm sure, that I have a year supply, maybe more, of wax melts. <laughs> Girl could never have too many choices, you know what I'm saying? Um but I do want to give those a, a try and see how they smell. <sighs> it's never ending. Sorry. I don't even know where I left off at because my children. <laughs> Their dad is upstairs. He's supposed to be watching them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how that goes. Okay. So then I was searching for the handle of that carpet scrubber and I came across this and I was like, oh snap, I need another one. So this is a heater and it actually what's that word is it oscillates or oscillates tell me in the comments I think it's oscillate like oscillating I think it's that I'm pretty sure but anyway it like moves that's what that means I think <laughs> but there's two different um, buttons there's like high and low and then there's just like a regular fan without heat and then there's the heat button so this is awesome it works. I plugged it in already. Now they did go ham spray painting it. It was a lot worse than what it is, but I took some nail polish remover. Let me see if I can get, there you go. I took some nail polish remover to it and I got most of it off, but it was not really working out so well with taking any more off. So I went to the dollar store and I bought 100% acetone and then I bought 50% rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to see if I can work some more magic and see if that will work. And I also bought that LA is totally awesome. So I'm going to give all of them a try and see if I can get the rest of that off. If not, I don't care because it's just staying in our house. It's not like I'm giving it to somebody or people will see it. Now the good parts, the rugs. Oh, I'm so excited about these. So I got three and I'm going to show you I actually got this one before, and I think, I don't know if I sold this one to one of my coworkers or if I sold it to somebody else. I don't remember. Anyway, this is a five by seven. You're gonna die when you see the price, guys. 
Do you see that price? Yeah. $159. That is straight crazy. Um, if it was the 6x9, it would have been $250 at the B.L. store. They are crazy. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with any of these rugs. My guess is they were just getting new stock in, so they were getting rid of old stock. And then I got this one. I like this one. I might put this one in our bedroom. This is also a five by seven. There is a little mark on this one right here, as you can tell. But if I would use this one in our room, that part would actually go under our bed so you wouldn't even be able to see it. So, yay me. So, no big deal. Um, I might even be able to get it out. I don't know, I haven't tried yet. And then I got this one. This one you guys see me struggling with. I could not pick it up to save my life. I was dragging it to my car. Then when I got it to my car, I couldn't fit it in my dang car because I forgot that, let me bring you up, <laughs> because I forgot that I don't have my actual vehicle. I still have the rental and it's a lot smaller than mine. So yeah, this one is just plain brown or not plain brown, but it, there's no like design or anything. It just tans and browns and it's super heavy and super thick and I really like this one and the price was can you see that this is the five by seven it's $69 so I'm gonna keep probably one maybe two of these and then so I so I have so many area rugs in this house that we're not even using so I really need to try and get rid of some and sell them on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is all I got on my two-day dumpster dive adventure. But I'll take it. It's not a ton of stuff, but it's things that I can use or things that I can sell and or donate. So that's amazing. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in to tonight's video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe hit that bell down below so that you can be notified when I do post a new video. And don't forget to watch the ads. And as always, happy diving. Bye guys.